Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Galleon, and welcome to our breakdown of the Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. Let's go ahead and jump in. So now the trailer begins with like this little image that looks like the galaxy for a bit and then it fades into the rocks of the island that uh, Luke has been living on for a long time and we see Rey that's just gasping for air outside of a cave. Now, in this scene, what I think is that she may have just had another force vision, or it's like the uh, the little cave on Dagobah under the tree, the dark side cave, that uh, Luke went into when he had the vision of Vader being him. Now, that's just my opinion. Uh, I would like to know what you guys think, though, what sh why she's like gasping for air and everything. But um, in the next scene, we see, uh, or well, we hear a little bit of uh, Luke saying for her to breathe, to reach out, and then he also asks her what she sees. Now, of course, I think this is him training her to be a Jedi, or well, whatever she will be, depending upon <laughs> what how Luke feels actually feels towards the Jedi. So, uh, the next thing we see are, like, some pebbles floating around her hand. Now, obviously, uh, this would be her using the Force. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the uh, scene in Man of Steel where Superman kneels down and is about to take off for the first time. Not gonna lie, uh, I did think about that, like, the 4th or 50th time that I watched the trailer. But, but no, it is really cool, and I like. it's always kind of cool to see someone using this force especially on rocks because it reminds me of the Empire Strikes Back and Luke's training on Dagobah so in one of the next scenes we see Rey say that she sees light and we see like the back of Leia who's silhouetted against some holograms and we can hear a little voiceover of her saying hope me or hope me help me Obi-Wan Kenobi um, from episode 4 so the next thing we see is what appears to be Kylo Ren's smashed up helmet and we can hear Obi-Wan say seduced by the dark side I don't know what all this means but it is really cool to like hear these like little force whispers speaking of the force whispers the next thing we see is Ray saying the balance and we see a bunch of books and it's surrounded by what seems to be tree like it seems to be like wood and roots maybe but um and something is said by Yoda in this scene but I honestly for the life of me cannot figure out what he is saying I would really really like to know if anybody has figured it out by now so like if, if you do know what he says please leave it in the comments and uh, what you think that means also I want to hear y'all's opinions do you think we're gonna see force ghosts in the movies because I think that's what this might be pointing towards is maybe we'll get to see the force ghosts of uh, Obi-Wan and like Yoda maybe even Anakin Hopefully, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Hayden Christensen return to be Anakin as the Force Ghost. Which, I mean, of course, Hayden Christensen was absolute garbage in the prequels, but the only good person in the prequels was, like, Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan, because he did fantastic. Everybody else was garbage. It wasn't their fault, though. It was just just the writing and directing. Because it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't solid. No offense if you like the prequels. You can like what you can like. Even if it's garbage. So in the book, we see in just a bit, in one of those books, there is the gray Jedi symbol. I uh, saw somebody on Instagram actually point that out. I didn't catch it until they saw that. But um, what I'm thinking by what, what Luke said at the end of the trailer, and we'll get to it a little bit later when he said that it's time for the Jedi to end. I think it might have something to do with this Grey Jedi symbol. And we'll get to that at the end. But yes, Luke says that it's so much bigger than the balance, which is really interesting and I'm looking forward to them maybe expanding 
what the force is that it's not just the light it's not just the dark I would like to see a, a, a broader explanation where we can have like little cubby holes and everything of well this guy isn't good or bad which is kind of what the great Jedi is so the next thing we see is this amazing shot of Ray training with a lightsaber while Luke watches and it's, it's, it's very reminiscent of say like a kung fu film that's what it reminded me of as soon as I saw it and I instantly got chills when I saw it because it was so so cool seeing that so then we see a uh, beat up I don't think it's a b-wing but it might be it it, it it is very reminiscent of a B-Wing. This ship that is flying on what looks like rocky terrain to fight what is probably um, First Order walkers. Now, from what I hear, these walkers are not exactly like the one from Empire Strikes Back, but they're more gorilla-like, which is very exciting. So the next thing we see is Finn in what seems to be a healing tank um it might be reminiscent of the back to tanks in empire strikes back and by the way i am noticing a lot of similarities to empire strikes back which is a very good thing considering it's in my opinion the best star wars film but um the suit that finn is wearing in this image is very interesting because from what i hear he might be wearing this suit for a good bit in the movie because it's like a healing suit. So we'll see. The next thing we see is Poe and BB-8 running down the hall of a resistance base. Assumedly it is a base for the resistance or the New Republic, depending upon what you want to call it. And then in the next scene we see Poe's X-Wing getting blown up. Which, isn't this the second time his X-Wing's been blown up? Because it got blew up, blown up in the beginning of The Force Awakens, right? I don't know. It's been a little bit since I've seen The Force Awakens. I need to rewatch it. So, um, one question I do actually want to ask is, do you guys think that Poe Dameron might become a Jedi? And I know for people who haven't read Shattered Empire, the uh, comic, that might seem like a preposterous question. But in this comic... We see Poe Dameron's mom going on a mission with Luke Skywalker where they rescue these force trees. And Luke keeps one but gives the other one to Poe and to Poe's mom and his dad. And of course that means Poe has been growing and living up around this tree. And maybe I don't know, if they're still going with midichlorians, maybe the midichlorians affected him, but considering that they probably won't do something as stupid as midichlorians, he might have become force-sensitive by living around this tree his entire life, or he might have already been force-sensitive. I don't know. What I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts on that, so just let me know in the comments, obviously. Now, the next thing we see is the Millennium Falcon fighting some TIE Fighters, and they appear to be in like a normal colored sky, so it's probably not Bespin or any any planet that has like a, a, a weird colored sky. So, um, but it, it is an interesting question to ask who is flying the Millennium Falcon. Obviously, we know it's Han Solo, or, or it's not Han Solo, excuse me, but uh, so it, it's a good question to ask, like, who do you guys think is actually flying the Millennium Falcon. I mean, it's probably Rey or Poe or Finn. I doubt it's anyone else besides one of those three. It's probably not Finn either, so it's probably just either Poe or Rey. It, 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 it's, it's probably Rey. Now the next thing we see is Rey running at somebody. She looks like she's kind of angry. And she's running at maybe someone with a lightsaber in her hand. This looks like it might be in the middle of possibly an action sequence. And if you notice that she still has uh, the lightsaber that was Anakin's, then it was passed down to Luke. So do you guys think that she might get her own lightsaber in this movie? Or do you think that they'll save that for episode 9? 
in the next scene, we get to see a, a little flash of Kylo Ren. I'm glad to see him back, sporting a nice scar that uh, Rey gave him at the end of The Force Awakens. Very, very reminiscent of Anakin, just saying. He's, he's leaving it because it makes him look more like Anakin because he's that big of a fanboy. He's, he's the type of guy to get uh, designs in his head that s spells out Vader. That kind of guy. But um, if you look closely into his eyes and, and try to ignore how dreamy they are just for a moment. But if you notice, there seems to be a bit of maybe yellow in his eyes. Like a little different coloration, which is something they did in episode 3 when uh, Anakin was turning heavily towards the dark side. So maybe maybe Kylo goes full crazy on everybody, or maybe what I'm kind of pitching. I kind of want to see him flip to the light side. I think it would be a really good twist if he, say, flipped to the light side, and then maybe Ray flipped to the dark side. But anyway, I'd like to see what y'all think. So yeah, obviously let me know in the comments. I keep saying that, but you know, I mean it. That's why I keep saying it. Now the next thing we see is like lots of fires surrounding a building and what is assumedly Luke kneeling down next to R2 in a cloak. Um, it might be the destruction of the Jedi Temple possibly from a from like a force vision that Rey might be having that she may have had in that cave that she was gas gasping out of. Um, and so that's what I would think is that it's the destruction of the Luke's Jedi Temple that we kind of saw only a little glimpse of in The Force Awakens. And then we see a shot that it, it appears to kind of like trick you into thinking that it's Captain Phasma like exiting this burning ruin of whatever it was that Luke was staring at. Her and her troopers are not exiting that if you pay attention to the top left you can see that she's in the hangar that Poe's x-wing was blown up in so it was probably her or one of her troopers that blew up Poe's x-wing so the next thing we see is just like a little bit of a space battle going on and I, I absolutely love the space battles in Star Wars so I hope we get a nice big one because there really wasn't much of that in the force awakens like you know there was a little bit of uh like just one-on-one -on -one fighting and then there was a bit with the x-wings in uh was it jakku i don't think it was it wasn't jakku i can't remember the planet's name the one that maz kanata was on there was a little bit of uh resistance fighting going on there and then just a little bit right at the end over the star killer base but I'd like to actually see a full-fledged dogfight in the in space, which seems to be what we're getting here. So that's super exciting for me. And now this last line is the one that's got everybody talking. Luke says that he knows one thing. That it's time for the Jedi to end. I don't know what that means, but what I'm going to theorize is that he doesn't believe in the strict Jedi way. He doesn't believe in, you know, the, the you know, you kind of have to not have any emotions that was in the prequel, the weird monk cult type of ideals. I would like to see maybe him become more of a gray Jedi. And I think that'd be really interesting for maybe him to train Rey to be kind of like, I don't know, like a rogue samurai type of person, where they just go around and help people instead of just being a part of, you know, an order or something like that. I think that would be a very interesting way to take it moving forward from episode 8 into 9 and then the rest of the Star Wars films. And then we get to see this beautiful logo, Star Wars encapsulated in red, looks fantastic. So guys, Star Wars The Last Jedi comes out on... December 15th, 2017, of still a good few months away, but I am so excited. It's probably, obviously, like, it's going to be the most excited movie of the year, and it has been for a while, because it, it's, it's Star Wars, guys. And it's the middle film, and they're trying to mirror the original trilogy, so it's probably going to be the dark one, which I'm excited for. So, 
let me guys just let me know what you guys thought about this trailer in the comments below let me know if you thought it was good thought it was bad maybe it didn't show enough maybe it showed too much i don't know who on earth would think that it showed too much but if you think that let me know so um are you guys excited for the force awakens i said the force awakens are you guys excited for the last jedi if so let me know and let me tell me uh, who your favorite character is from the last jedi so yeah thank you so much for watching Hey everyone, Joe here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe so you can get notified when we upload a review, podcast, or other video. If you'd like, you can follow the channel at Heroic Power ENT on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can catch Chase at Chase.Galleon1 and me at CaptainJSSG on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And for Heroic Power Entertainment, see you next time.